If you're going through any hardship or setback, this is your time to turn back to God. This is your time to return to God. In most cases, God is going to afflict you with lots of pain, lots of adversities and opposition because he wants you to return to him. In Hebrews chapter 12, from verse 5 to 7, um, our God is a disciplinarian. You know, God disciplines his own children. And discipline, in most cases, can be translated as suffering. You know, when people are suffering, they feel like God is against them. God um, God doesn't answer their prayers or God has turned away from them. No, it's just his way of telling us to come back to him. You know, like when Jesus was here on earth, like there was nothing as milk and honey when he was here on earth, right? So the thing is that if Jesus suffered, we are we, we will suffer. You know, whatever he went through, we are going to go through it, right? Because he's our father, he's our creator, right? So if you're going through any setback, if you're going through any sort of hardship or any kind of like difficulties or opposition, this is your time to just turn back to God. Do not harden your heart. Come back to God. You know, in Amos chapter 4, you know, God afflicted a lot of pains on the Israelites. You know, that was because of their unfaithfulness, right? You know, you saw how um, God used um, Moses to like deliver the Israelites from the Egyptians. And you all know the story of how Israel was so unfaithful to God. And whenever they become unfaithful to God, God has his way of just, you know, punishing them and delivering them in the hands of their enemies. But in most cases that in the case of suffering, right? Suffering is not going to, it's not, it's not something that is permanent. Okay. In John chapter 16, you know, while you are suffering, the world is rejoicing. The world is, you know, but your suffering is not going to last, right? Your suffering is just for a very short period of time. You know, God has encouraged us in Romans chapter 12, verse 12. You know, be joyful in hope, be patient in afflictions, and be faithful in prayers, right? So if you're going through any kind of major setback or any kind of suffering, like whatever it is that you're going through, do not harden your heart. Turn back to Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14 verse 6, you know, you cannot do life without God, you know. In most cases, like, the reason why we are going through what we are going through is because we haven't really, like, we haven't we haven't really like developed a sincere relationship with god and we've been living our lives like lost ships you know and it takes the grace of god to actually like redirect our steps redirect our path and in most cases when he's doing things like this he doesn't do it in a way that favors you right he's gonna like limit you he's gonna cut off everything every desire anything that gives you pleasure or desire god is gonna cut it off whether it's your career is your business or your family or your friends like he's gonna separate you from those pleasures so that you have nothing to depend on but to depend on him right he does this intentional which is good because if he doesn't do this like we will not we will, we will remain lost ships basically like if he doesn't intervene we will remain lost ships right like he has to humble us in order for him to bless us you know we have to go through all of these processes like it's a process the father disciplines you know in hebrews chapter 12 he disciplines his children so he has to like do all of this so that you can only rely on him right in first peter chapter 2 verse 2 he says be like a newborn baby that depends on the mother's milk breast milk for salvation that is how god wants so god wants us to depend on him for god wants us to depend on him for everything right so anyways um i see a lot of people giving up on their goals people giving up on their careers people like giving up in life in general because life is so difficult i just hope that this message speaks to you that you are not alone you know we have the advocates we have the holy spirit of god in us i just want you to turn back to god who, who is your source of truth and happiness because jesus is the way the truth and the life you cannot do life without jesus if you try to live your life without god you're only going to be going in cycles you know you're going to be going in cycles everything that you have worked so hard for is going to come to an end at some point why because you don't have the approval of god right so 
um <laughs> keep faith you know keep faith um our god is not an evil god he's a faithful god he's a holy god and he has a purpose for us you know he has told us in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 i alone knows the plans that i have for you plans to prosper you plans to bring you a future right and the plans that he has for us eyes have not seen neither has ears heard right so only god like only god can save you only god can like you know make you prosper in this life you know make you enjoy this life that's if you walk in obedience you know when you're going through hardship this is not the time for you to harden your heart or turn away from god rather use this time to turn back to god find peace in god find strength in god you know everything starts with god and everything ends with god so um i hope this message speaks to you um this is just my own way of preaching the gospel i feel like god has blessed me with a gift and i just want to use this gift to honor him i'm going to be making more videos like this hopefully yeah just pray for me guys pray for me pray that i don't give up because you rarely see contents like this you know <laughs> you rarely see contents like this a lot of people they you know which is fine you know everybody whatever suits you but i just feel like this is my own way of honoring god i love doing my makeup but then i also love preaching the gospel and so i was like you know what i must well use this opportunity to like promote jesus and talk about god so i'll see you guys in my next video bye